Welcome to the War Report. This time it's another war gaming session. And it's from an old game from the 90s, called, originally called Panzer General 2. But the one, the people that have coded this have renamed it Panzer Marshall and it's free online. So I'm going to start the German World Campaign, 1938 to 1946. So as you can tell, uh, it's somewhat uh, totally right on the ball for realism, but there's options like in order to play the longest path well I'll just start from the beginning German world campaign you take command from the civil war in Spain to the lightning victories of World War two and beyond this campaign will test your abilities as a leader in both blitzkrieg scenarios and defensive scenarios if you are skillful you will fight in Africa Russia and even England in order to be able to play the longest path you'll need to take a victory at Dunkirk and a victory at Clint invasion or sorry please note that an Air Force is needed in order to pass the invasion England scenario in the scenarios immediately proceeding in the latter part of the campaign all available prestige will be needed to over strengthen your units so it might be advisable to limit your core army to around 40 units you really don't need more units anyhow and just so you know the units are at battalion strength so we're going to go to historical which is the highest difficulty and we start off with 500 prestige so the prestige is what you get instead of money to buy and upgrade units uh, you get it by winning a total victory and getting the small checkpoints but especially the larger checkpoints so let's get into the first level so this is the Madrid offensive ah good day general please sit down and allow me to explain the present situation the Spanish nationalists have requested the help of Germany to wrest control of Spain from their enemies. In leading this expedition, you will have the opportunity to sharpen your skills in the art of war. You will test the general staff's new ideas regarding tank use, concentration of force, and combined arms operations. Your expertise can then be put to work towards the real objective, the return of Germany to its proper place, the leader of Europe. All right, so here we go. These are my units here. Uh, if they stay alive, they can become veterans that are much harder to kill and can do more damage. All right, so I'll start off with my recon. And I will put him over here and capture this point. Now, let's see. Probably buy a new unit. Let's see. Uh, buy another, or actually I'll upgrade my tanks. Close this. So now let's see. Uh, tanks. Yeah, there's no point. I'll buy an artillery piece instead. And I'll uh, see how many movement this has this can go eight eight squares so I'll get that it'll help and yeah, let's check out airplanes if I can buy one uh, no 
I can't. Not till I get some territory. Alright, let's get into action here. So the best thing to do is, you know, start waking the enemy, soften them up with the uh, artillery. He's not in range. Uh, we'll try to pet this guy's down here. Six damage. Stern Pioneer, really good infantry. Almost finished these guys off. They're probably going to retreat. not lit. Usually when you destroy a unit with a tank you can blitz again. Okay, this guy's in range. Sturm Pioneer. This guy's right too. So let's go with this tank. Overrun. It's not letting either tank move yet. I'll move that guy up. This guy can't fire, so I'll move him up. These are just some Italian allies. Uh, not the greatest. This is my airport. That's what the airports look like. That's where you send your planes to refuel. Then over here, we have some enemies. This guy can move. Probably not the best idea to send him there, so we'll wait to capture that. But we're moving. He won't be able to fire yet. So there's the enemy down there, and there is a capture point, big one. There is a big one, and there's a smaller one, a smaller one. Okay, so that looks like that's it for this turn. Whoops, wrong button. So I'll end my turn. They're going to hit back with some artillery. And artillery will automatically counter fire if it's in range. Whoop, those guys took a big hit. And those guys, yeah, they're somehow back. Okay, so our prestige is 292. Three objectives left to conquer in 11 turns for a brilliant victory. That's what we want because we'll get a prototype unit for free. Okay, so I might as well start here. Nail these guys again. Move these guys here. Move these guys here. And I'm going to reinforce these guys so we can still use them later. And... I will move this guy into the mountains. He'll probably get attacked, but whatever. Now, let's hit their artillery. Gotta move them off. we we'll capture a big square. Hit him. See now, since he can blitz again, so he can move farther. Uh, there's uh, another capture point. I'll send the Italians down this way to capture a couple of points. Where's my other tank? 
he went already. Okay, so we'll just take this guy out. Make the Italians have some fun. guys are mobilized, motorized I should say. Let's move this artillery up. Put it there so you know, it doesn't get stuck in the water. And then we go here. Move this big gun here. Oh yeah, I actually no, I forgot to place this. So let's stick them right there, and then we can move another gun up to right there. These guys are not moving. Got them already. Okay, end of turn. Whoops, I keep hitting that button by mistake. Yeah, I figured you'd fire a big go after my artillery. But we'll go after their artillery and get a point. Leave that for the tanks. Fire in the sky. Ensure to keep this town. Get this recon ahead, but not too far ahead so it doesn't get damaged. Well, I guess one spot there shows a tank. Near you. Get him close up there. The artillery. Uh, we'll put it into the rocks. Italians. They don't need to be upgraded. Let's just move them down. There's a bunch of checkpoints this way, but we should go this way. Maybe send one infantry this way or a recon and end the turn. Have to capture Toria. Okay, nine turns left, so we're doing good. Uh, let's see if any artillery is in range. Yeah, let's hit them. Uh, we'll move them this way. Capture Pond. Recon. Uh, he does two to one, so we'll weaken him first. Ooh, yeah, hit that light tank. Move up more Sturm Pyrenera. Six to one, don't want to weaken them. We'll send these guys this way. Guys will take a two to one. Do some damage. Uh, still bad. This guy's just out of range. We'll get him next round. 
guy's in range, so we'll keep him there. So anything he fucking attack, excuse my language, anything he attacks. Yeah. Weaken him before we hit him with the artillery. And we'll let those guys deal with them. Move them this way. Block them from there. Let's move the artillery on down. down there so let's move this guy into the forest and we're done for a turn there we go so the artillery helps out takes down three keeps these guys in better strength now let's hit him again oh, we can't hit him this guy will nail him this guy will nail him See what damage you can do. One on one, yeah, sure. Two on one. Uh, we'll move on ahead. Three and three, sure. Why not? And he's dead. So we'll probably let these guys capture that and then we'll uh, reinforce them the next round. Keep them there. Uh, recon my unit. Let's go over here, okay, capture that. See what what's down there. Capture the air force. Move up our stern pioneer, they're pretty strong. Keep them on there. Move these guys down. Capture the airfield, might as well. Could probably buy a plane now. planes, fighters, oh that's bombers, sorry, uh, yeah we got 986 prestige, let's go with uh, ME109 B2, or let's see his stats, uh, he can move 15 quadrants, one damage to tanks, one damage to Infantry, eight to airplanes. Uh, he can seven damage from ground and seven damage from the air. And uh, it's got shields of one. Uh, let's see him. He can do more damage in the air. Same damage as the other guy, but he moves two less spaces. Might as well get him, and I can upgrade him to an E when that comes out. There we go. So let's go back up to here. He's gonna be coming out to the aerodrome. Let's move him down. Let's attack this guy. <laughs> They totally reinforce this guy. And he's gone. Okay, so let's move them out of here. Infantry. Horses. Horses. You know, we could play this realistically and just keep mechanization at like 18%, which is what the Germans reached at their highest state of motorization and mechanization. The rest was horses or infantry walking or on horse. Move any of 
these guys. Oh, sorry, wrong spot. These guys will get all moved down now. They'll be a help. Okay, here we go. Uh, there's a big one up there, so we'll send somebody up there to capture it just to get the prestige. Okay, let's let the Spanish get their turn. Oh, they got reinforced. Oh, shit. What did we lose? That will have to replace. Let's take a look at the losses. Uh, we lost an artillery. Yeah, we definitely want to get that back. So let's see if we can buy one. Yeah. No, can't get him. A nice armored vehicle. We'll get him this though. And upgrade. Oops, I did it to that union and I didn't buy another one. <laughs> so, we didn't buy one, but at least that guy got a new car. How fast does it move? Ah, oh, less spaces. That was a mistake. So, we'll close this up, deal with the artillery we have, reinforce these guys. Bring in the tanks to do some damage. Artillery, you know, two and four. Sorry, that's a recon, my bad. Here's the other tank. Move up the artillery. Anybody up there? What's the best way to send you? Uh, probably through here. Rest of the guys will sit down. to the Italians. Oh, here's our artillery piece that needs moving up. And another one. So the Italians is a way to capture and they'll then probably be able to help if needed. It's everybody except for my fighter plane. And I don't think they have any, no, they have no ACAC -ac guns, but he's out of range. So next attack, he's in there. See our artillery helped out, get the damage to a minimum. Losses send in the whoops. Send in the sky. Again, again. Get these guys. Get these guys again. Overrun gets to go again. Damage to the tank. So that's the end of that round. And now we're in Poland. Herod General, you must break through and encircle the enemy along the Polish frontier, exploiting their lack of mobility. We will send preemptive strikes to destroy the Polish Air Force. Therefore, no aircraft will impede your advance. Speed is essential. A su successful advance here will allow us to threaten Warsaw from the north and east simultaneously. 
In addition, we can welcome our Soviet friends to the key city of Brest-Litovsk on the new German-Soviet border. The general staff will not be pleased if the Soviets, if it's the Soviets who welcome us instead. So it looks like we got a Stug, Stumgeschütze 3B for a brilliant victory. That'll come in handy against, they say anti-tank, but it's actually anti-infantry. But it was used in this role in, in Poland and everywhere else and became a big tank killer. Killed 30,000 Soviet tanks on its own even including IS-2 tanks and the T-34-85s. Still found a way to kill them. But, uh, let's see. I'll just deploy my men for now. And uh, I'll buy um, another infantry. So, uh, how much? Oh, well, we got a lot of prestige. So we'll buy him and we'll get him in a nice armored vehicle that can fire back and we'll buy it. Even us with 991, we should probably buy another artillery piece. Uh, so we'll go to artillery. Let's see. Good gun, 7.5. Does good damage to infantry and tanks, so I think we'll take him. He's got four spaces that he can hit in range, so we'll buy him. Let's move six spaces, so yeah, we'll keep him, you know, try to keep it kind of realistic with the motorization, so we'll put him with horses. Buy. And then let's look at our tanks. Uh, Panzer 2A. Let's make it a Panzer 3E. Upgrade. And it looks like only one of those tanks was ours. And the other one was our, our auxiliary unit. And we'll get a Panzer 4 for... Uh, for infantry help. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we already got a Panzer 4D. What am I talking about? So we got a good tank killer. We could get a check tank, I think. No, we don't have enough. Panzer 2D. They did take part, so might as well buy another one, as it'll be a big help. Um, shoot, I should have upgraded this. When we get prestige, we'll upgrade our recon unit, because these guys can do some good damage. And they move 10 spaces and can do 3 damage to tanks, 3 to artillery, and 2 to airstrikes that attack them, and 1 to shipping, and... Uh, they got decent, well, you know, decent defense versus ground attacker and airplane. And they're decent against fortified positions. And they got pretty good shields. So uh, we'll wait and we'll play this map on the next turn. So I'm going to go to settings, save. Let's go save to cloud. Cannot create save. There, what? That's weird. Well, we'll save to disk. And we will see you guys next time in the next video. Have a good time. I hope you enjoyed this. And you'll see how much better this game gets as we get into the later war years. And we have... Tigers, Sturm Tigers, and stuff like that, and Panzer Grenadier that can really do damage. Uh, this is the War Report signing out. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Really helps us, especially if you watch all the way through. That's a big, big help for a new channel. 
So thank you so much, guys. I'll figure out what the problem with the cloud is. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Talk to you later.